Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Yo wu yu n g a n d r d s t o e s s p r e v i e w the v l l hey guy l u t v u r k t h r v i c t o r Unable to tolerate Kyle's insubordination any longer, Diane made the shocking decision to fire her son as CEO of Jabbit on Young and Restless. It was just the last straw for his mom. Notes Michael Mueller Kyle. Kyle just kept making the wrong moves and pushing through things without her consent and she's above him as far as the hierarchy goes. She would have given him a spanking, but he's a little too old, so she decided to fire him. The resentment goes back to when Diane was promoted by Jack to co-CEO, Kyle's old title. Kyle just wants everyone to see that he is competent enough to have this job, and he deserves this job, and it was taken away from him. Miller explains. He just wants to prove to himself that his parents, mainly his father, and in turn his mother, will finally really see him in the right light. Kyle always thought that he had the upper hand in the situation, but it went in a way that he didn't anticipate. Even after Kyle was given his walking papers, he counted on his dad to back him up, which didn't go as planned either. Jack definitely took Diane's side and Kyle feels like his dad did it because he wants to keep the peace within his marriage. Miller services. So Kyle is now feeling his dad has once again betrayed him and chose a side out of necessity and not the smartest decision for the company. Instead of accepting his termination quietly, Kyle announced his resignation. After storming out of the office over Jack's protests, Kyle texted Victor indicating a willingness to work with his father's sworn enemy. I think he's going to play dirty, predicts Miller. He wants to prove that he can make it on his own, so he's moving on. To that end, Kyle meets with Victor to discuss Newman's offer for Kyle to run Glissade with Audra. It's a also a cosmetics company, so it's something that he feels comfortable with and can succeed in Miller reasons. This is his chance to really make a name for himself outside of Jabbit. I think the cosmetics industry will always know Kyle as an abbot. It's not known that Victor is an investor but Glissad is a fully funded company, and Kyle gets to build it from the ground up in a way that he sees fit. This can really show his drive, his ability, his creativity, all away from the legacy of Jabbit, so that's becoming more and more attractive to Kyle. Kyle keeps it under his hat that he was fired from the family company. Kyle wants Victor to know that Kyle is still wanted, not that he's been discarded, Miller explains. He wants Victor to think that he's getting something that is of value still. Whether or not he accepts Victor's job offer, Kyle is ready to be his own man outside of Jabbit. I think he's feeling energized about this, Miller says. He seems affirmed in his decisions and his choices that he's ready to take the world by force. But will Kyle be able to work comfortably side by side with his ex-lover, Audra? Miller points out. I don't think Kyle knows the answer at this point in time. I think both he and Audra will have to wait and find out about that one. I think it's going to be difficult and will be quite a wild ride that's ahead of them because neither of them trust each or like each other that much. This could be a powder keg ready to go off. But he's still very tempted to go for it. In the bustling town of Genoa City, where power struggles and dramatic encounters are part of daily life, the latest buzz is around Kyle Abbott. As the sun set over the iconic skyline, Casting a golden hue over the Newman Enterprises building, a new chapter was about to unfold. The question on everyone's lips was, will Kyle go to work for Victor Newman? Kyle Abbott, the dashing heir to the Abbott fortune, had always lived in the shadow of his family's legacy. The Abbots were a force to be reckoned with in the business world, with Jabbit Cosmetics being their crown jewel. But Kyle, with his restless spirit and insatiable ambition, was constantly seeking something more, something that would set him apart and allow him to carve out his own niche. Victor Newman, the indomitable patriarch of the Newman clan, was a man who could spot potential from miles away. His eyes were now set on Kyle, recognizing the fire in the young man's eyes. Victor had built his empire from scratch and he saw in Kyle the kind of raw determination that could be harnessed and molded into something formidable. 
The prospect of Kyle working for Victor sent ripples through the tightly knit community. Friends and foes alike speculated about the potential alliance. For some it was a match made in heaven, a blend of Abbott creativity and Newman tenacity. For others it was a ticking time bomb, a collision of egos that could either result in an unparalleled business dynasty or end in spectacular disaster. Kyle's internal conflict mirrored the external speculation. On one hand, he felt a deep sense of loyalty to his family. The Abbots had their own way of doing things, a way that prioritized integrity and tradition. But there was a part of him that was drawn to the allure of Victor's world. The sheer power and influence that came with being part of Newman Enterprises was tempting, and the idea of learning from Victor himself was an opportunity that didn't come around often. One evening, as Kyle sat in his luxurious penthouse apartment, he found himself lost in thought. The city lights twinkled below, a reflection of the chaos within his mind. He remembered his father, Jack Abbott, always urging him to follow his heart but also warning him about the treacherous waters of corporate rivalry. Jack had his own history with Victor, one filled with betrayal, competition and a begrudging respect. Is this the right move? Kyle wondered aloud, his voice echoing in the empty room. He knew that working for Victor could mean turning his back on Jabot, on his father's legacy. But it could also mean stepping out of the shadows and proving his worth on his own terms. As if on cue, his phone buzzed. It was a message from Summer Newman, his on-again, off-again love interest and Victor's granddaughter. Her words were simple but loaded with meaning. We need to talk. Grandpa has an offer you can't refuse. The next morning Kyle found himself in the opulent office of Victor Newman. The room exuded power, with its rich mahogany furniture, and the smell of expensive cigars lingering in the air. Victor sat behind his desk, his steely gaze fixed on Kyle. Kyle, Victor began, his voice a deep rumble. I've been watching you. You have potential and I think you know it. I'm offering you a chance to be part of something bigger than yourself. Work with me, and together we can achieve greatness. Kyle listened, his mind racing. He knew that this decision could change everything. Victor's offer was indeed enticing, promising not just power and wealth, but a chance to learn from one of the greatest business minds of their time. But the cost was high he would have to navigate the treacherous world of Newman politics and perhaps become estranged from his own family. Why me? Kyle asked, needing to understand Victor's motives. Victor leaned back, a slight smile playing on his lips. Because you're hungry, Kyle. You want more than what you have. You remind me of myself when I was your age, and I believe that with the right guidance you can surpass even your wildest dreams. The weight of the decision pressed heavily on Kyle. He knew that aligning with Victor could mean burning bridges with his father and the rest of the abbots. But it could also mean forging a path that was uniquely his own, stepping out from the shadows of his family's legacy. As Kyle left Victor's office, his mind was a whirlwind of thoughts. The sun was setting again, casting long shadows over Genoa City. He had a choice to make, one that would define not just his career, but his future. Back at Jabot, Jack sensed the change in the air. He had always known that Kyle was restless, eager to prove himself. But the prospect of his son working for his greatest rival was a bitter pill to swallow. He hoped that Kyle would remember the values he had been raised with and the importance of family loyalty.